Alright, so this here is the Blue Ridge Overland Gear Bum Bag. This is my supplemental pack to my everyday carry. This is but this is on me every day. It's all the extra things that I might use on a daily basis that I don't want in the backpack because I don't want to always have to take the backpack with me. If I'm just going to run to the store or I'm just going out a bit in the evening or something, I'll just throw this in and it's got a lot of equipment in it that helps me on the day to day. So let's break it down and see what we got inside here. I'll try to do this all in one take. So first off on the outside here is an Olight Mini. Really tiny pen, really nice actually. Writes nice and fits nicely on the outside right there. Now what's cool about this thing is it's modular. So it has no organizers inside it. I got these extra loop panels to put in it. And let me show you what's in here. First off, my floss. Good to have floss, also doubles as cordage. I have right here an important item. I have an Anker battery. This one is it's like a little candy bar size. It's quite small. It'll probably recharge my phone once. Uh, or smaller phones twice, but it's nice fast charge. And in here, I put, I took it off my keychain. I put the little lever charging cable in here with it, so I can always charge my phone or someone else's phone on the go, whatever the situation may be. Nice to have an extra charge at the ready. And this here is an Anker battery. This is an extra little kit that comes, you can order with the bag. And this is a medical kit. Just a little boo-boo kit, first aid. I have some gauze, I have some band-aids. I, uh, I have some petroleum jelly, some neosporin, uh, some wipes. So very minimal, very, very small boo-boo kit. Folds up, fits nicely, and there's a little canvas material. I like this uh, just to have, you know, for any Little cuts or scrapes you might get. Just a simple little medical kit there. I have my wireless earbuds. I got these recently. I was never a fan, but I like that it charges it when they're in here. And there's the, the buds. It's the Tozo earbuds. They actually have pretty good sound and they're noise canceling. So that's kind of nice. I have those in there. I listen to some music. This is a new item I just got. I'm gonna add more stuff to the keychain here, but this is a Tech Gear titanium measuring tape. I find myself needing to measure stuff quite often, and I just never have one of these on hand. I had a big clunky one, but this one's a little bigger than a quarter, and it's titanium, and I think it's really nice. So, you got this measuring tape there. I actually find uses for measuring things all the time. So as you can see here, there's this panel, it's Velcro. There's two Velcro strips, one on the front, one on the front panel and one on the back. And then you add whatever you want to it to modularize it. So I have these panels that have Velcro on the back and hook and, and loops here for everything that I want to put in it. So on the front here, we have, we have some chapstick with some duct tape. That used to be in my pocket all the time. Now it just sits in here. This here is a SOG um, survival pen type thing. It's got a glass breaker on the end there. And it's got a whistle here on this end. And then on the inside, this is why I got it in here. It's got a fire, um, a ferrocium rod. And then you just, how do I do this? I open the, yeah, open the tip, right? If I open the very back here, there's a little bit of uh, steel wool there as tinder. You can stick a little tinder in the corner there. And uh, hopefully you have a knife to scrape this. I do have a knife in here, so I can scrape this. That's just a little SOG survival tool. Thought it was pretty handy. Well, 
plane flying overhead now. In the front here, in the front panel as well, is my lighter inside the Lighter Bro case. I added all my all my twine here. This is um, hemp beeswax uh, wick, and I added some Ranger bands to hold it down, and one here to hold the the gas so it doesn't lose gas inside my pack here. But this has a knife and a poker and a little scissors and. I just put it all like that to, this is my little fire starting along with the, the striker you just saw. I got fire starting capabilities in here. This is a new addition and I love this here in the front, this silver container. This is what's coming later this week is another, another segment. So I'll have one, two, three segments here. And what this is, is a titanium pill container. All I have in it right now are some um, those are Vicodin, heavy, heavy painkillers. But I'm gonna put some normal aspirin and some antidiarrheal and antibacterial and whatever else in here. So that's in that first container. But what's nice is I got this with the plan of doing so and it ended up working greatly. It was putting my, my actual prescribed earplugs that I use when I play music in here. And my earplugs fit perfectly in here. So that's pretty nice. I have a nice secure container for my earplugs as well as any potential medications I might need uh, or painkillers or anti-diarrhea or uh, you know allergy or whatever. So there's going to be one more one more segment added to this and then uh, that's that's my earplugs and pills and stuff. So that's a pretty cool little titanium container. I just got that recently. Over down the side here is uh is the cap for my flashlight it makes it a lantern so you could you can light up a, a wider area like you just hang it on the ceiling and you got a whole room of light it makes my flashlight a lantern well and then laying right inside that there was a roll of tums i use the tums often enough that i i kind of need them around so i just stick that down on the side there right here on this front panel this is cool. This is a Gerber uh, pry bar, and it's also an X-Acto knife. So this one's really nice for cutting open packages and whatnot, boxes, utility purposes. And then it has a bottle opener here and a pry bar. So if I need to pry something, I can actually use this to wrench open something. Sog pry bar. The flashlight that I'm carrying with me here is this Sulfrin SC31 Pro. This is a really bright flashlight and for 40 bucks it's uh it's got a lot of utility. It's got a strobe mode as well. It's got a magnetic back so I can stick it on things and like I said this is the cap that goes on like this so you actually get a lantern out of it which is pretty cool. So you can light up a whole area with this lantern feature. So that's useful. It's good to. I, I also have a uh, headlamp that I'm going to put in here, but uh, this is my light for now in here. Then I have, which you saw in my other video, my Vittoria Knox Swiss Army knife. This is my knife and multi tool for this pack. A lot of great tools here saw, all, knife, fire starter right here with some tinder in the corkscrew there. And then, of course, the awl can be used to scrape this ferro rod so ch -ch fire starting capabilities right there really nice i love that knife and the last two items i got down in here are a sharpie super permanent ink good to have a sharpie around if you ever need to mark something leave a note i also have a right and rain pad i was going to put in here so i'll be adding that as well and the last thing i put in here probably not necessary i got this vittora Knox sharpening sharpening tool to sharpen blades so here's how you can sharpen the blades on the go it also has on this end right here a diamond sharpener or a edge sharpener right there but there we go so it's got two ways to sharpen nice uh pen like item here so that's all the stuff that's in there and as you can see these two panels with the loops are added so the inside is just this orange with the with the Velcro here. So you could do however you want. You could add 
things into it in any way. It's a really nice versatile kit and I'm really happy with it. Uh, you can put patches on the outside to customize it. And for the amount of utility that I got in here, uh, that's pretty nice. Its form factor is really good. How big is it? Let's find out. It's about seven and a half inches wide, or long, I guess. Three inches wide this way, and five inches this way. It, it just—it's a great—it's a great size. It's uh, the one thing I might be a little worried about is the stitching here, but it looks like it's double stitched in two spots. And there's one buckle here and fits around the waist pretty nice. So that is the Blue Ridge Overland Gear Bum Bag, $40. All right, it's made of Kadura. It's, it's pretty rough material. It's got the blaze orange. It's, it's really nice for outdoorsmen types. And I, su I highly suggest this item. For $40, let's take the pen out. $40, you can't go wrong there. So, what I probably would add here, let's see, what have I got? I wanted to have some room in it though, if I wanted to add anything, like if I have my vape with me and I wanna, and I don't want this in my pocket or I wanna add my keys in my wallet and my vape into it, uh, there is actually a way to get all those in. This usually ends up just laying right at the top and then I have my wallet and my keys. So it is possible to fit all my everyday carry that I have in my pockets in here as well. It's a little heavy then, but all my EDC stuff is in one spot. And again, this can go right into my backpack when I'm not wearing it on my hip. So let's put all this stuff back now. And there you have it. All the stuff in my Blue Ridge Overland Gear bum bag. Pretty nice kit. Nice uh, possibles pouch, everyday carry, supplemental bag. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you want to see more content with cool gear. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day.